What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. In today's episode, we're going to do a little pack and play. Uh, for those of you who don't know, how a pack and play works is I'm going to open two hoops packs. So the first hoops pack I'm going to use in a season game. If I win the game by 10 points, then I get to keep the second hoops pack. But if I don't win, then I have to sell all the cards that I get in the second pack for 101 coins. Uh, so we're going to do this on my alternate account. That's why I have all these different players. I uh, have been working on impact players, but if I were to do this on my main account, then it would be playing in like my 8th or ninth season, and I would probably get destroyed in the game unless I have some crazy good pack luck, which is very unlikely. We'll see what we get. So our center is going to be a 67. Oh, joy, two centers. Uh, shooting guard, Jabari Brown... All right, not a bad gold. Uh, Kent Bazemore at small forward. Uh, he's a 78. And then Devin Harris at point guard with a 68. So actually pretty good distribution of players. Only going to have one player out of position. So we'll go ahead and play the game. And then afterwards we'll see uh, we'll see the pack and see if, it has, if it's something that we have to give away. Uh, oh, joy, I get to hit. Okay, well, fortunately, I have lots of Kent Bazemores, so don't have to go looking for him. Now I'm going to have to remember who I have, and I have way too many cards on this account. All right, sorry about that. We got the team set up with all the players that we pulled, so we're going to go ahead and hop on over to Season and get started. So if we win by double digits, we get to keep the players... From the other hoops pack, but if we don't, then we have to sell them for 101 coins each. So, starting off with a miss. That's always a good way to start. Uh, probably going to autoplay a lot of the defense, because these are all going to be terrible defenders. And the computer's going to be better... Wow, that was an insanely hard shot. Computer's going to be better at playing defense with these guys than I am. I really need to get it to my gold... Baysmore, come on, don't let me down. Pull up from three. Oh my, this might be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> okay, uh, he missed one. Let's see if I can go in and dunk it with Turiaf. There we go. Alright, so off to a better start. Hoping we can get more like that. I'm guessing we're going to have to do a, wh a whole lot more driving than I'm used to. I usually spend most of my game shooting threes. So I'm going to have to switch up my gameplay style a little bit. Hopefully this will work. Oh my, he just got destroyed on that. Still not sure why they haven't implemented fouls in this game. Or at least not in the way that they should be. I've seen people say that they've shot free throws or had the opponent shoot free throws against them. Oh dear. But I haven't, I personally have not had a single encounter with shooting free throws. Uh, which is kind of weird and a little bit annoying. Pull up from three. There we go. All right, so we're up one. Still got work to do if we're going to win by f or uh, ten. I'm guessing the next pack is going to be more terrible cards, but with my luck, it'll probably have like two elite cards in it or something. <laughs> um, yeah, like I tweeted a picture the other day of... Uh, some hoops pack that a guy opened, and it ended up having, like, I think it was two Legend Collectibles, which sell for, like, 100k each, and an 80 overall gold, which is just insane. Actually, it might have had two golds. It might have been a 74 and an 80, but it was, like, by far the best hoops pack that I had ever seen. Ooh, and I got the ball. Let's see if we can chuck it down the court. Oh, no, don't autoplay. Chuck it down the court, see if we can get a shot up before it goes off. Well, or maybe we won't. All right, that was disappointing. That was very 2K-ish. Uh, if you've played 2K, if you try to chuck it full court, there's like a 90% chance that it's going to go out of bounds. So that's what that reminded me of. Uh, so we're up by 4, on pace to be able to win by 10. And, of course, now the game's getting laggy. I'm not sure why. It only happens when I'm recording, which is annoying, because it's the only time I need it to not be laggy. Oh, 
I was totally not paying attention and did not realize that I was not on autoplay. So, let's see. Let's pause the game, see if we can get this going faster. All right, pass in. Oh, my goodness. There we go. All right, back to normal speed. Come on, kick it out. Hmm, I wonder if Jabari Brown can shoot. I'm pretty sure he can shoot. I'm just not sure. All right, he can shoot. It's often hard to tell, especially with bronze players, because even if they have a good statistic for shooting, a lot of times because the other player just has so much higher defense than they're used to, they'll either get blocked or they'll just miss it, which can be very annoying. Oh, my. Yeah, that's why you don't try to handle the ball with your center. Oh, and not sure. I think it's not sure which young that is. Uh, we'll try to pull up with Harris, see if he can make another three. All right, there we go. Up by six, making our way up to that ten-point mark. Uh, let's see how we do. Not a whole lot new going on in the game right now. Uh, it's kind of the reason I decided to do the pack-and-play, because I was kind of running out of content ideas. So if you guys have an idea for a video you'd like to see, comment below. Uh, I'll see if I can try and do it. Totally did not realize I was on offense. Um, yeah, I'm always open to new video ideas. Um, I was thinking about doing a video just talking about like what's actually going on in the NBA right now. I relatively frequently have people comment. There was like one video where I said Steph Curry was the best shooter in the NBA right now. And... A few guys just kept commenting that Kyle Korver is better than Steph. And I don't understand how you can say that when there's not a single statistic that Korver beats Curry in, in shooting or not in shooting. All right, up by 10 points already. Looks like we're going to get to keep that second pack, but we're going to keep playing. Uh, but yeah, just uh, doing research on Curry, a lot of people think that all he can do is shoot threes. Uh, and that he's not really good for anything else outside of that. Oh, with the fader. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people think Curry isn't good for anything aside from threes. And that's really just not true. Uh, a lot of you might not know what player efficiency rating is. It's basically, it compiles every possible statistic into one statistic to compare all players in the NBA. So it's on a permanent basis, so it can't it can't be, okay, this guy plays a lot more than everybody else, so it's not fair because it's completely fair since it's based on the amount of playing time that each player gets. So currently, uh, Steph's player efficiency rating is one of the highest of all time. Uh, that's including like LeBron's best seasons, including Jordan's best seasons, including Wilt's best seasons, so... I think a lot of people just assume that since ESPN only shows his highlights as shooting threes, that's all he can do. But overall, he's probably, his season this season is one of the best seasons all time. So that's just my thoughts on Steph Curry. Um, up by 15 now, not going to be hard at all to get that 10-point victory. Uh, I've been getting more involved in the uh, NBA Live.gg forum. You guys should go check that out if you haven't already. There's quite a few NBA Live mobile YouTubers on there. So if you like... Oh, I did not mean to press the shoot button. <laughs> uh, he's probably going to get blocked. Oh, wow, he made it. Um, yeah, there's quite a few people on there that are YouTubers for NBA Live mobile. Also, just quite a few people that know a lot about the game. Uh, there's some decent coin-making methods. Not a lot of great ones. I know there are some guys on there that actually have monopolies in different servers. Uh, so basically how they do that is they buy up all of one card, and then they sell it only maybe one at a time. And so because nobody else has it, they can jack the price way up. So they'll do that for, like, the Spotlight Corver or somebody else like that. Um... Which is kind of interesting. I'm probably not going to do something like that just because it kind of screws up the economy and messes up the game, makes it not fun for everybody else. Ooh, up by 18 already. 
uh, and still got one quarter to go. But yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting. I hadn't really heard of that before I got on the forums. Um, there's quite a few newer uh, NBA Live mobile YouTubers. Not many of the big guys. I'm probably the biggest NBA Live mobile YouTuber on the site. I know Noobkill has an account. He posted once, but that's about all I've seen from him. Haven't really seen anything from Madden Mobile Gods or... I uh, haven't seen Stop D or O Rampage or OVO Phantoms. Um, but it is nice to uh, be able to talk to other players just about events and stuff. Things that you'd like to see changed and kind of strategies for different things that are going on in the game. So if you haven't checked that out, I would recommend it. I was doing a little bit of live streaming earlier for the Spotlight event. I. Uh, Pretty much always try out like the spotlight events and the throwback events just to see if I can get the players. And I think there's only been one time that I've ever actually pulled the player for the event. And it was like a 72 throwback Jason Terry, which is basically worthless. Um, yeah, I just have terrible pack luck. Just terrible pack luck in general and terrible pack luck with those events. But I was trying it out. Didn't get anything but pretty much bronze players, so... It was a little bit disappointing. It would have been nice to pull that Clay Thompson card uh, because I do like Clay Thompson as a player. He probably has one of the best looking shots in the NBA. He and JJ Redick are up there. I honestly don't think Kyle Korver has a very pretty shot. He's oh no. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay, that was weird. Uh, yeah, back to Kyle Korver's shot. He doesn't really have that pretty of a shot. He's just done it so much that it goes in. And it's kind of similar to Steph's. Uh, Steph doesn't have perfect form like players like Thompson and Redick do. He's just done it so much that his muscle memory has gotten to the place where he doesn't even have to think about it. So you'll see, like, Steph doesn't usually leave a follow-through up on his shot. He'll usually flick his wrist quick and then pull his wrist back down. And so players like Redick and uh, Thompson typically leave their follow-through up, which is what you're supposed to do, especially as a younger player, trying to perfect your form. But when you've shot thousands and thousands, probably millions of shots like Curry, uh, you really don't have to worry about that as much. But there aren't really many players that can do that. Um, but yeah, I guess when you're the best three-point shooter in the NBA, you do whatever works for you. So, that's going to be the end of the game. Hornets 47, Nets 21, which means... Ooh, and we made the playoffs. Get to open that other pack, see what we get. And we'll head on over... Okay, don't feel like starting the playoffs right now. Head over to my team. Go to unclaimed items, or view items. Then unclaimed items. And see if we get something decent. Maybe get it. Oh, nope. 75, which is trash. So wouldn't have been really that disappointed about having to sell those players. But that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions, any ideas for new videos. And I will see you guys next time.